At UFC Vegas 13, Glover Teixeira defeated Thiago Santos via rear naked choke in the third round. Here's how the MMA community reacted to the fight. Bilal Mohamed tweeted Glover better go Nate Diaz on the mic and get that title fight. Jared Gordon tweeted Glover is a monster. Ali Abdelaziz tweeted two amazing guys. Tatiana Suarez tweeted wow, just wow, that was freaking amazing. Marlon Vera tweeted well Glover is number one contender now, title next. Cub Swanson tweeted wow Glover, you're out here doing it for us veterans. Jimmy Manuel tweeted respect to Glover Teixeira, what a fight. Michael Bisping tweeted, holy f***, Glover is the man. John Jones reacted with the eye emoji. He followed up with, my mind is blown right now. Don't even know what to say. He followed up with, Glover's the new goat. He followed up with, I'm proud to have beat this guy, I like him. He ended it off with, somebody give the man his shot. Javier Mendes in a recent interview spoke on Khabib's retirement. He said that he's not done with MMA and will help him coach fighters. Speaking to Submission Radio, he went on to say, as a fighter, it could 100% be it, but not as a coach. He promised me that he would help me coach his guys together. When Eagles team MMA, me or anybody of my guys wants his help and he wants to help he's gonna be in the corner with me so he's not done with mma now it's going to be the mind game that he's going to be playing with me against other opponents with our fighters that's the arena we're heading into now darren till has been forced out of his fight with jack hermanson due to injury kevin holland has now stepped up and will face jack hermanson on december 5th darren till reacted to pulling out and posted this on his twitter saying good luck to both fighters i'll be back next year i hope kevin gets to showcase himself against one of the top guys in the division he's as game as they come Hey guys, you know what's up, Darren Till pulled out of our fight and uh, that sucks because preparation has been going real well, uh, I'm in the best shape ever and I was really looking forward to fight Darren, I wanted to show you guys that uh, I'm the best middleweight in Europe and uh, that I'm the next true title contender. Uh, but what can you do, shit happens, so I can only wish Darren Till a, a good recovery. Um, when we got the news, we asked UFC for our replacement fight because, uh, yeah, the training camp has been going so good and I really want one more fight this year. Uh, so they started to ask people above me in the rankings and below me in the rankings and at least five guys turned the fight down. Uh, so, uh, but there was one guy that was willing to fight and that was uh, Kevin Holland. So, um, yeah, if you follow the sport, you know that he is a good up-and-comer and he's on a great win streak right now. So I hope that this makes for an exciting fight. And, uh, yeah, I'm the best that I've ever been and I'm really looking forward to make a statement on December 5th. So make sure that you guys uh, tune in. And thank you so much for your love and support. Peace out. Michael Chandler on the UFC Unfiltered podcast gave his thoughts on Khabib's win over Justin Gaethje. I think uh, I think it was very much different than I thought it was going to be. I thought we were going to see, you know, Khabib, Khabib doesn't have the greatest striking in the world, but he is, he's, you know, he's durable, he has proven himself to be tough, he has, he's proven himself to be, hands down, the most dominant control grappler in the on the entire planet best in the entire world possibly the best in the history of mixed martial arts so i, I thought for sure don't go out there and get into a firefight with justin gaethje nobody wants to get in a firefight with justin gaethje because you see people get into a firefight with justin gaethje and then there's that point where justin gaethje takes a ton of damage but then he starts to overcome his opponent because the opponent whether it's adrenaline dump whether it's just not being conditioned for that type of firefight you know, Justin Gaethje usually come, comes on and, and takes guys out in those later rounds. So we saw Khabib Nurmagomedov, a consummate grappler, the best grappler in the division, the best grappler in, in the UFC, coming forward, plotting forward, throwing striking attacks. Even when when, when Justin Gaethje was getting up against the, the black octagon um, line around the octagon where, where most guys, you know, that danger zone, he still wasn't taking shots. He was still throwing punches. He was still running at Justin Gaethje with reckless abandon. And I think it threw Justin Gaethje so far off um, that he kind of got into, kind of got into fight or flight mode. And, and we saw him, you know, kind of look like a deer in headlights when he, he did get taken down with 40 seconds left in that, that first round. And then second round, we saw the same exact thing. To be plotting forward, trudging forward, coming at him, getting into another firefight, took him down, got on top and Justin Gaethje looked like he had never grappled before ever. And I don't say that in a disrespectful way. I think we've all been there, you know, Matt, you've been there. When you get into a spot in a fight where you're like, you're not quite reacting the way that you've trained because you're just, you know, the, the, the circumstances overcome your your ability to, to navigate and negotiate these different positions. 
and he looked like amazing out there and went out there and caught him with that triangle and it was over. Man, f Biden, man. I don't give a f care what. Just Biden. All these happy ass liberals. Gloat. Bunch of hypocrites. Bunch of crybabies. Got what they wanted. So, I just heard that is is media's lies saying that Biden won. I want y'all to be prepared for this or not, so you're not, you know, crying and Because I heard Trump by the wind. Uriah Hall on Sirius XM gave his thoughts on Dana White's comments on his performance. It's, it's life. I mean, someone's opinion of you should never become your reality. There are people out there who are consistently going to wait for me to fail or going to want to see me fail. That's their purpose. That's their job. And that's fine. I don't mind being hated, man. I don't mind being disliked. I have the courage to be disliked. There's 7.8 billion people on this planet. You think everyone's going to like you? Like, you don't even like everybody. So why would I give a f about someone's opinion? Yeah, he's the boss, but he's entitled to his opinion. Maybe it's from a business standpoint for him to think I should have went out there and produced more to get more of a viewing. Maybe he's more upset the fact that he didn't want Anderson to fight. I couldn't give a what he would say or think. I didn't there with me at that given time. He just pays me to f motherfuckers up. So he's entitled to his opinion. Obviously, he's the boss. There's only so much leverage I have, but I have no problem with it. I have nothing bad to say. Just finished training. I want to remind you guys to stretch, stay hydrated, and stay positive. Have a great day. People the switching to the crown. What do you guys think? Is it cringy enough? You guys are about to take a toe. Anyhow, you guys tune in because we're about to cringe the world.